My name is Lalit Singh Mehta and today I am going to explain to you about the concept of stress versus strain curve for a ductile material. The curve has already been drawn, so let us go into the theory of this. So first, we have to understand uh, from where this curve has arrived. So this curve has actually arrived from a test called as tensile test on a ductile material on a UTM. So suppose this is a machine and in this machine a ductile material is being fixed, ductile material is being fixed for the testing and some tensile load is being applied by this machine on this specimen. This is the load. So, this machine or arrangement is called as universal testing machine. So, under this machine, how this material will behave or how this material gets failed under this tensile load, this is the representation of this. So, from this test, we have got the stress strain curve for a ductile material. Because uh, when the load is being applied, tensile load is being applied, so uh, within a certain period of time, this material or this rod will break, will finally break. So this, how the behavior, how it behaves, all this is shown by this in terms of a graph. So sigma is nothing but, the sigma is nothing but P by A and the strain is nothing but delta L by L. So P by A load upon area at every instant of time and delta L by L change in length upon uh, original length at every instant of time is being plotted on a graph and this is how the graph is obtained. So now let us move into the important points of the graph. So the first point we can see here is A dash which is limit of proportionality. So from the graph you can see from the start to the A dash it is a straight line, it is a linear line. So we can say up till O to A dash the stress is directly proportional to strain. So up till A dash the stress applied is directly proportional to strain as we can see it is clear from the graph. Correct? And from here we get the concept of Young's modulus. Since it is directly proportional, so sigma is equal to constant into E and this constant is nothing but Young's modulus of elasticity. So Young's modulus of elasticity is nothing but it is the ratio of stress by strain. So this is the first point A dash. So after A dash we can see the graph becomes non-linear up till A. It is non-linear. So A is our second point which is the elastic limit. So elastic limit this point basically divides our region into elastic and plastic zone. So up till point A the material will be elastic in nature means the material on removal of load on removal of load the material can come back to its original size and shape. So this will be elastic region and if we cross point A the material will enter into plastic region. So this is the elastic limit. After A we can see again there is a increment in the stress and the strain value. So B B is nothing but upper yield point. So this is the point where the yielding starts. So what do you mean by yielding? We will see. 
upper yield point is the point we can say point of initiation of permanent deformation it is also called as permanent set so this is the point actually point b is the point where actually since this is a plastic phase starts from here but point b is the actual point of initiation of permanent deformation so this is the point where the actual permanent deformation or initiation of the permanent deformation starts because it is a plastic zone now when we move ahead there is a point c which is called as lower yield point so this is lower yield point is the extension of the upper yield point means this is also the elastic uh, sorry plastic phase which is going on so lower yield point we can see there is a dip in the stress value very small amount of dip in the stre st stress value but there is a considerable increase in the strain value so i can say lower yield point is the point where the strain is more than point b so this is actually the phase both upper yield point and lower yield point where the material i can say uh, act as a soft material uh, uh, and acts as a fluid because see in this both region the strain is getting more value strain is getting the more value that's why i can say in this region the material acts as a fluid flow and permanent deformation sets in the material means the deformation which the material gets cannot be regained again so this is the phase the material acts as a fluid flow then after point c you can see there is a considerable increase in the stress and the strain value so this region after c strain hardening so this is the region where this point is called as the ultimate stress point because now we know the load is being applied on the material and the material is getting weak and weak so in the last phase of the material when the material is about to break so it applies the maximum resistance to its load this maximum resistance is implied in terms of this maximum stress so here we get the maximum stress value for this point and it is called as the maximum stress so this is the phase where the material acts material acts like a very hard material so that's why we see a considerable the maximum amount of stress here and along with strain being induced correct now after point d there is a point e which is the failure or breaking point now after when the maximum stress maximum stress or the maximum ultimate stress point has been achieved in the graph so the material is now prone to breaking so at any instant of time the material can break and this breaking or failure is denoted by point e so finally what is happening here is this is the jaw of the machine and this is the ductile material which is being fixed here so some neck this is called as neck this so there is a considerable reduction 
in the cross sectional area of the material so this necking actually starts taking place at point d and it goes on increasing 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 and this region is also called as geometrical softening geometrical softening so this phase is a geometrical softening happening in the material and the material can any time gets failed after point e correct so first uh, we can say a revision of all the points we can say from where this graph has come every i have repeated it comes from the utm test on a ductile material tensile load is being, uh, is being applied gradually and then when it starts the first point is a dash which is the limit of proportionality stress is directly proportional to strain and the area under this is nothing but e young's modulus this young's modulus is the area the area under this graph is nothing but young's modulus of elasticity limit of proportionality second elastic limit the elastic limit is the point where wherein the material is elastic in nature means when the load is being removed it will again come back to its original size and shape so this is the elastic limit we can see here elastic zone and after that after point a the plastic zone starts so the first point of the plastic zone is upper yield point this is the point where the yielding starts point b yielding starts means the point of initiation of the permanent deformation so this is the point where the we can say initiation of the permanent deformation starts although the plastic region starts from after a then we can see a dip in a small dip in the stress value but i increase in the strain value so this point is the lower yield point strain is more than point b we can see strain is more than point b suppose here is the strain so strain is more than point b next then there is a considerable increase in the value of the stress and strain this is the point where, where this is the region we can say there is a strain hardening been introduced in the body means material acts as a very hard material so when the material acts as a as a very hard material so the amount of stress to be implied for its failure will be more that's why we get the maximum stress value at this point along with strain and after point d there is a point e which is the fi finally the failure or the breaking point because when the material is being stressed then the necking in the material starts and the material will fail at point e finally and this point e can come at any time after point d so this is the behavior of the ductile material under the tensile load on a utm and this it is in term called as stress strain curve for a ductile material hope the you like the video thank you